everybody. Welcome to the Paranormal Connection. I'm your host, Donna Wilberg. Today's guests are the fabulous duo of the award-winning TV show, Paranormal Insights. Joseph Ernest Martin is a renowned psychic, tarot reader, award-winning author of the Quest Tarot, and most recently, recipient of an award in recognition from the Hayward Police Department. Angela Lynn Gibson is an intuitive medium who holds a degree in pre-med. She's taught anatomy, physiology, and general biology labs for UC Denver. She's completed a year in the Master's in Forensic program at UC Davis and has gone through the Sacramento County Sheriff's Academy. She's currently completing her PhD in Doctor of Divinity degree in Metaphysical Sciences and Counseling. Busy folks, everybody, you're gonna love them. Welcome, Joseph and Angela. Thank you, Donna. You guys, how did, in a lifetime, so many things that you've accomplished. It's incredible. Yeah, there's not a lot of dust that settles. <laughs> that, is, that is the truth. <laughs> wow. Well, let's start off talking about the show. How's, how's the show going? You're just... So we, we just wrapped season four. four. Okay. And that was really exciting. We, we did a little bit of a different format this last year because we've both been busy. So we kind of did four shows at a shot in, in a shorter period of time. Every time we would go down, we, I would go down to the Bay Area. We'd do four shows, special edition shows. So, Absolutely. And so we were able to wrap a whole season in just a few months, which was, I think, incredible. Yes, absolutely. Well, you know, you, you got to love what you're doing because mm -hmm. it takes so much work. Yes, it sure does. And one of the things that I think that we were really amazed at is for each show, uh, both Angela and I will write between 800 and 1,000 words for each show. And when you've done like 70 normal shows, that's like writing 70,000 words. Yes, you could write a book. <laughs> yes, I keep hearing that over and over again. <laughs> you know, Angela's list is very long because she's a very busy gal and we both travel and we mm -hmm. do shows all over the West Coast. Mm -hmm. And she has added that to her list of yes. things she's doing yes. is starting her book. Absolutely. That oh, has to take priority for sure. Joseph keeps telling me, I have to be moving up in the world, and that includes writing the book and getting published, and then I can be on bigger panels, and I can do more speaking ar arrangements, and so that's what, that's my next goal. Well, you know, and I think you're on your way, because you're, you know, you're so polished. You Look at all the things you've done. My goodness. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That's crazy. And you, my, my dear, have accomplished so much. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of that show that you're doing, because it's phenomenal. Yeah, well, we have even more surprises that are going to be coming up for season five. Uh, the studio where we're lucky enough to film at mm -hmm. has uh, an availability of equipment that is just so, so amazing that it's going to allow us to, we're going to be experimenting a bit to see what works, of course, mm -hmm. but to do some really mind-blowing things coming up for, for next year when we're filming. I'm excited. Oh, and I bet. We're really excited. We have a new studio director, David Flores, who's coming into the fold that will be, he's, he's sort of uh, with us the last few uh, shows of the last season. Mm -hmm. He'll be the main uh, studio director coming up in 2016. We also want to give a shout out to Melanie. Yes. Because she was amazing. Yes. She did a lot of work mm -hmm. with us. And, you know, because, you know, we're not busy enough, right? <laughs> we don't, we're not no. doing enough stuff as it is. <laughs> We're actually now able to put together a team. We have this pilot idea that we've had for a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever I've pitched it, when I've talked to agents in the LA area, they have said, we really love this idea. You know, the minute it's done, you gotta show it to us. If it's good, you know, we'll pitch it to the networks mm -hmm. and you've gotta do it. And so finally, after all this time, mm -hmm. we have our new director, we have the crew, we have the equipment, we have everything in place. So coming up in 2016, we're going to make this pilot happen, and who knows? We'll see what happens. Yay! Is that the one I'm thinking? Yes, it is. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Okay, well, you're going to have to come and talk about it here. Yes. When you, when you do it. Yes. Oh, Absolutely. yay. I'm excited for you. Yeah. That's going to be great. Well, you know, you brought a clip. Let's, let's, uh, why don't you set that up for us? 
tell us what we're going to be seeing, and uh, then we'll show the folks at home what we're talking about. Well, absolutely. Well, I, you know, we we do a, like a lot of different kind of show segments. We do mm -hmm. our, our normal mm -hmm. show where there's a lot of research and writing. Uh, we do an interview kind of show, which is is not quite as mm -hmm. often, but we bring guests in, and then. Uh, uh, we do special edition shows where we're on location somewhere on the West Coast uh, having done an event. Now this clip is actually, we were so lucky, uh, Denise Crosby from Star Trek The Next Generation mm -hmm. plus so many other things but you know you might recognize her from being the character uh, Tasha Yar from uh, Star Trek. Uh -huh. And so she was in the area and we contacted her and she was so, she's such a beautiful person, she was so gracious to come on and you're gonna see uh, uh, Denise talk about what's coming up for her in the future. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, everybody, take a look. Today on Paranormal Insights, we'll be talking with Denise Crosby and finding out if the paranormal has touched her life. Now, you've been on actual film sets where things have kind of happened, not necessarily on the set itself, but have happened that have been weird coincidences for you. Mm -hmm. Like we were talking about when I did the film Pet Cemetery. It was the day um, in which uh, it was the most difficult filming f that I was going through. I had to stay in a sort of hyper sense of, of emotion all through the day. It was the day we were um, burying my son in, in the film. And um, so finally, after a very exhausting, spent, emotional day, I got in my car. It was, it was dark out. We're in the back roads of Maine. And I was driving myself home and a little fox ran out so quickly from the road and I, I know I, I, I nick, nicked him. And I just, you know, being a huge animal lover, I screeched my brakes on and pulled to the side of the road and got out of the car and couldn't find it anywhere and was just sobbing hysterically. And then I realized, oh my God, I'm making this film Pet Cemetery, And I've just, I've never hit an animal in my life. And I thought, you know, what is this trying to say to me? Do yeah. you remember anything from the, your past lives that, that we talked about or that you remember on your own? I remember you talking about Holly and I yes. knowing each other and being related pr yeah. probably in a past life. Holly, um, for those of you who don't know, um, she is a friend and also um, manages celebrities for appearances at conventions and things. And Holly and I you know, are very, very close friends and dear friends. And I remember something along those lines. Yes, that was absolutely true. Mm -hmm. You guys had some fascinating past lives together. Uh -huh. And it came up really strong. Mm -hmm. And one of the interesting things with that is it came up so strong in Holly's reading. And when I was doing Holly's reading, she said, you have to read Denise because we have to see uh -uh. if it comes up for her too. And it came up so strong in mm -hmm. your reading also. Now. I know we have the cards here, so we, we're mm. gonna do a little bit of a reading right now for Denise. She's already mixed up the cards, and she's gonna tell us her question that we're gonna focus on for her, and we're gonna see what comes up, what your guides have to say, what they say in my head, what my guides have to say about what your guides have to say. Uh. What's your question? Okay, so my son Augie is um, tracking to become a very, um, excellent left-handed baseball pitcher and colleges are are approaching him and scouting him and enough people have said you know you could really you could really take this and that's his dream and we enjoy it and we enjoy being part of it as his family watching him develop and going on you know um, tournaments with him and 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 college showcases we've done a lot this summer so I just want to see what um, can he fulfill his dream that is a great question. That is a great question. We're going to focus on, will Augie be able to fulfill his dream with all these talents that he has? And the first thing I want to say is that um, the, the very, very first thing that I'm getting with this is how much Augie is balanced and connected. So those two things come up very strong. Mm. He's also going to find that, I mean, even though we're talking about physical ability, mm -hmm. physical agility, being able to uh, pitch mm -hmm. uh, baseball, 
this honestly says he is like really smart too. Mm -hmm. So you're, the guides right away say he may have all this physical ability, but he is also really incredibly smart. It all well, that is fantastic. I want to thank you so much for being here and sharing these intimate and paranormal experiences with everyone who's watching. And I have to tell you, I am just in love with you. Oh my God, oh. I am not going to wash my hands for a month. <laughs> This has been so special Cheers. for me. Thank you so much for being here. The pleasure is mine and great to see you again. We want we to answer your questions and address your topics. If you have questions you want answered or a topic you'd like us to look into, we're easy to find. For private one-on-one -on -one psychic sessions, for your personal questions on love, health, or money, you can find your answers by calling me at 510-387-3328. Or you can find me best on Facebook or on my website, questarot.com, or email me at joseph at questarot.com. You can follow us on Facebook, Vimeo, and YouTube. Simply search Joseph Ernest Martin, Angela Lynn Gibson, or Paranormal Insight. And be sure to watch our series, The Magic Minute, exclusively on YouTube, where you'll find easy to use everyday magical techniques to improve your life, because it only takes a moment to make magic. And when you watch, remember to click like and subscribe after viewing the video. Send us your questions and topics so we can share our paranormal insights and answers from beyond the ordinary. So you've, um, that was, uh, that was fabulous. I'm so excited for you because it, it seems like every time I have you either back on the show or we talk, you've always tweaked it a little bit more and a little bit more and you're just doing amazing things with that show. Well, one nice thing about Denise coming on the show uh -huh. is, you know, of course we're talking to her before, you know, we actually did the interview uh -huh. and she's had a lot of paranormal stuff happen. Oh, wow. And for an actress and someone who's done so many things, you know, she's a little shy and quiet about some of these paranormal things that have happened. So for her, there's actually a lot more going on than she even shared on the show. But it's because, you know, she's such a dear heart. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't it nice, though, to have people like you, too, that are so open about the things that go on and that people can actually talk to? and relay these things to? Well, I think we share that in common with yeah. you, Donna, because one of the joys for me, even doing my radio show and working on the television show with Joseph, is meeting all these wonderful, exciting, interesting people who've had such unique experiences. Mm -hmm. And we talk about the paranormal when really, in my opinion, they're normal events that we just haven't quite explained yet scientifically, so we call them paranormal. Yet we have all these really interesting events that happen, and I love when people come on the show and they share that with us, whether it's a UFO experience or a ghost experience or an angel experience or mm -hmm. a near-death experience. These are such, we've just really been able to visit with so many interesting people. Well, and, and you know, sometimes, you know, science, not always, because I think the people out at CERN and the Hadron Collider mm -hmm. are just doing mind-blowing things out there. But sometimes science people can get a little bit cocky, you know, and they, they'll think, there's nothing left to explore. There's nothing left to know. We pretty much figured it out. You know, maybe the bottom of the ocean, you know, we're going to figure that out. But everything else we kind of know. And then we know that just within the last couple of months, they announced that they discovered a new species of chimpanzee. And the size of these chimpanzees, they weigh about 300 pounds. Oh, my goodness. They're huge. And they just discovered this. Here we are on the planet with all this tech and all this science, and look at the things we're even finding out. Now, I think that means we're going to be seeing more Bigfoot stuff, and yes. we're going to find out what that whole thing is actually mm -hmm. about. Because so many people, again, you know, carrying the cell phone, got mm -hmm. those cameras going, Absolutely. capturing so many amazing things. Mm -hmm. So where did they discover these? Uh, I believe it said uh, Africa. Okay. Uh, down there. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it's interesting because we've had several Paranormal Insights shows that we've done, and the events have been coming out more and more in the news lately. So we've had several events around, so the Yeti Bigfoot mm -hmm. with the chimpanzees. We just did a, shoot, a show on Fukushima, and so there are more uh, stories coming out now about radioactive fish you were talking about coming yes. out on the coastline. We were addressing some of these issues in our shows, in, in our topics, so it's kind of fun. And then we've got all mm -hmm. kinds of exciting stuff going on with space news. Yes. So well, share, please. Well, you Can know, you? In, where Fukushima is concerned, okay. you know, obviously that's like a science project yes. because, you know, it's, you know, science and nuclear reactors. Mm -hmm. But there have been a lot of reports of UFOs in and around the reactor. Mm -hmm. And what appears to be them altering the radioactive state of that disaster to something that is 
maybe livable, if that's the right word. More manageable. More manageable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, was, and we did a show on that uh, with uh, UFO sightings at nuclear uh, missile sites, but in particular with Fukushima, them coming in and uh, being able to lower the radiation levels or help contain some of the radiation uh, and to prevent future leaks and uh, explosions because they just had another earthquake here recently. That's been lower, of course, than the one in 2011 that caused the nuclear meltdown. But it's interesting how these all tie in with what we're doing with the show. Mm -hmm. So it's, and it's fascinating to think that there are other life forms, other entities that are looking out for the human species. Well, and Angela and I were just at the big UFO show here mm -hmm. in Sacramento. Okay. And uh, talking with everybody. And uh, they actually brought some artifacts yeah. uh, from Mexico mm -hmm. that they they couldn't allow anyone to photograph because they're going to be on the History Channel on Ancient Aliens and, you know, it's all that contract stuff. Yeah. But where they're showing uh, these artifacts that they're digging up that actually show what pretty much really looks like flying saucers and aliens. So it, it's really kind of wild. And I, I just think this is one of the most amazing times to be alive mm -hmm. because of science. You know, it's like they just announced too, uh, they uh, tested the DNA where Hitler was supposed to be, his body mm -hmm. had been burned and he died. And now they say there is no Hitler DNA there. It's all feminine DNA. All this stuff is coming up. All these things that used to be conspiracies, which mm -hmm. was Hitler yes. was, did not die there and was not burned that he was, you know, uh, carted away to Argentina, I believe. And uh, uh, all these things that people would say, Shh, you know, <laughs> just that's just baloney. Who, who believes that? Now, because of science, the internet, freedom of information, as we mm -hmm. have it because of the internet, mm -hmm. these things are coming up to say, hey, maybe all this isn't so crazy after all. I know, so it's so hard to wrap your head around some of the things that are, are coming up, mm -hmm. but, there are things that we've seen in movies. There are things that you know we've we've heard as children that were told in, in maybe a story storybook form, like the Yeti and the Bigfoot and stuff like that. You know, now we're we're starting to see these come into fruition, and the information is becoming available. And that just is, it's it's like with this whole shift that's going on. It's great. It's amazing. It's fabulous. How do you how do you pick topics for your shows? Well. You know, we really kind of like research the internet. So okay. we kind of just sit there and we start looking at what is really current, what is really hot, um, uh, what are people really talking about and debating, mm -hmm. and is there any supporting information, facts, or evidence? Yeah. Uh, because it's one thing to just talk about something. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but it sure is another if there's, you know, multiple eyewitnesses, multiple mm -hmm. video sources mm -hmm. of what happened. And one of the things I do is I just think about, well, what would I be interested in? What do I want to learn more about? What do I want to know more about? What are some of the questions that people ask? When we go do shows, we get a lot of the same questions. So we look at, okay, so if people are asking about this, they're interested in this, how deep down the rabbit hole can we go? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And of course, you know, we go to a lot of the conferences. Mm -hmm. And so at the conferences, th those really are the leading edge things. Mm -hmm. Because what, ha what you see at the conference, a year later, you might see it on the History Channel or Ancient Aliens or something mm -hmm. else. But at the conference, you're seeing the most breaking information being presented. Mm -hmm. And there is so much stuff still happening in Mexico where UFOs are yes. concerned. And mm -hmm. uh, Jaime Musan is doing such this mind-blowingly phenomenal job of looking at that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I've been making a prediction now for a lot of years, and, I, I, and I'm gonna say it here tonight, and you, know, you guys can see it come true later, which is in our lifetime, we are gonna see an actual UFO event that is going to be documented in a way that's unequivocal for us. And then the dominoes will fall, at least in America, to show where the hidden knowledge has been. Okay. This is really gonna happen. And we know this because all these military people are now coming forward. Paul Hillier, the Prime Minister mm -hmm. of Defense for Canada, yes. coming forward to say we've had uh, a relationship, the Canadian mm -hmm. government has had relationships with four different four alien species. species. Mm -hmm. Plus many other military people. Absolutely, and back circling back to the internet, because of the age of technology we're in now and our access, and by our I mean the general public's access mm -hmm. to information, it's much more difficult now to contain or cover up, so we are less likely to have a conspiracy. You're not able to put it in a little box or keep it in a file and lock it away. 
So now when these events occur, again, going back to technology, we have we have 4K video capability on our phones now. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, you look at the yeah. millions of people that are out and about mm -hmm. on any given day. When this event occurs, there are going to be multiple sources of recordings of this information, and it will be on the Internet live before it ever goes and, and can be s stamped out. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you've, you've covered a lot of different, harp. Yes. You know, you've covered a lot of topics that, you know, really weren't discussed that much, and you've brought them out into the open, and, you know, a show like yours is so valuable. I'm so happy that you're doing what you're doing. Well, we try we tried to make it fun and interesting yes. because honestly, neither one of us are scared of anything. <laughs> you know, I think maybe it's law enforcement background. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just like we're there. Well, yeah. That could be. But you know what? We're almost out of time. I don't know what ha happened to all the minutes. They just kind of. But um, do you want to give your information so everybody knows where to contact you and how to find your show? Sure. Sure. Absolutely. So, um, well, you can find Paranormal Insights by just doing a Google search of Joseph Ernest Martin or Angela Lynn Gibson or Paranormal Insights. Also Magic Minute, they'll want to be checking that out because great little snippets of information to, like, to make your life magical and much more simple. Who doesn't want that? Uh, you can find me personally at AngelaLynnGibson.com, best way to reach me. And you can find me, of course, at uh, uh, questtarot.com. And again, searching uh, 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 the internet, great way, because I'll, I'll definitely come <laughs> yeah. up. And of course, our, our show actually plays on broadcast TV. Absolutely. Uh, in uh, many different areas in California. And if you know anyone who can take us national, I'm so open to that. <laughs> and we also are, have, uh, we're going to be getting in 2016 our own Roku channel, as well as being, we're on at t Uverse Channel 99, State of California. And uh, any place we can put that show up, we're trying to make that happen because we think it's, it's valuable information for everybody. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. And I commend both of you for all the hard work you've put into it. It's going to be fabulous. Uh, we do need to give some information about The Paranormal Connection. The Paranormal Connection airs the first and third Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Our companion show, Story Connection, Here's the second and fourth Thursdays of each month. Each episode repeats the following Friday at 1.30 p.m. and Saturday at 5.30 a.m. Watch these programs online at the same airtimes by going to accesssacramento.org and clicking Watch 17. In the Sacramento region, you can see us on Comcast Channel 17 and on AT&T Channel 99. You can find previously aired shows on the Paranormal Connection YouTube channel. For information on upcoming shows and previous Paranormal Connection guests, go to paranormalconnectiontv.blogspot.com. You can contact us at paranormalconnectiontv at gmail.com. And don't forget, find us on Facebook. Become a friend and become a fan. Well, with the small amount of time we have left, is there anything that you want to impart to the audience? Uh, you just won an award. Congratulations. Well, you know, uh... I don't let much dust settle, that is the truth. <laughs> and so I try to be helpful no matter in, in what area. Uh, Hayward Police Department gave me some recognition for some work I had done for them, um, and I'm very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. Of course, the show Paranormal Insights, we've won uh, four Video Excellence Awards mm -hmm. so far, including Best Talk Show Entertainment and Best Show Special Audience. And so, you know, we're just happy. You, Donna, you know this so much. We are so thrilled to be able to do something we love mm -hmm. and have it actually affect the world in a positive way. Good, I, I love it. Yes, and, and you are. You know, it's, it's being broadcast into the world and uh, people are gonna learn from what you have to say and it's gonna be fabulous. And you, my dear, you're moving. Yes, so I'm gonna be moving down from Northern California to the Southern California, San Diego area. So part of my job down there, speaking of distribution, <laughs> I'll be making connections down there with public access television and helping get our distribution down in Southern California as well, so. Good, good, good. Well, do you have any party words for the audience? I would say just, here we are coming up towards the end of 2015, mm -hmm. which was an eight year power year so next year we have a nine which is culminating in everything that's going on wrapping up all those things we've done this year all the hard work being able to rest and get prepared for the new cycle coming up 
So what I would say is going into the holidays this year, really pay attention to what you're grateful for as far as not material things, but really your connections with people in spirit form and in physical form. Really appreciate those connections. Very yeah. good. I love that. World's going to get a little crazier. We're still in the crazy cycle. <laughs> but the good news is for light workers, people of higher vibration who are doing good in the world, especially in 2016, we're going to get a boost up mm -hmm. and support from the universe bigger than we've had the last five years. So that's going to be a wonderful plus for everyone who's been working so hard, trying to make the world a better place, feeling it's been difficult. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to feel like you get that support you need. Mm -hmm. So all the all the ruckus that's going on with uh, ISIS and and you know mm -hmm. the the Paris terrorists and stuff like mm -hmm. that, you know, do you feel like there's going to be some resolution there? It's going to get a little worse before it gets better. Okay. And it's going to take other countries really stepping up and stepping in instead of always being, you know, the United States. Mm -hmm. There have to be some other countries, especially particularly in the Middle East. They're starting to do that. You're starting to see the shift and the turn. There's been a little bit too much, well, someone else will come in and take care of it. Yeah. It's going to take people in that region to step up as well. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and good luck with, with Paranormal Insights. I can't wait till everybody uh, tunes in and, and watches it because it's fabulous. Okay, and I'd like to thank my crew, Laura, Ted, Lorene, Don, David, Rick, and Ricky. Thank you so much for coming out and making this possible. And if you'd like to learn more about me and my romantic suspense novels, go to DonnaWilberg.com. And there's lots, lots of uh, personal stuff about me on there as well. Okay, so with that, we're going to say good night. Thank you again so much. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Yeah. That's been great.